all right hey, hello everyone we are back so i i'm going back on this game they are billions because i really love this game it kind of really got me into the city builder experience and stuff like that and i'm kind of going back to it now because it's a game that's pretty good to like you know play again i ooh, that's a good start beautiful start actually i always loved the snow area so if you don't know what it, this game is it's pretty much a zombie survival city colonization game and stuff like that where you kind of have to survive till a certain amount of days there is no endless because you won't survive endless it's pretty much like you're, you're done at the very end and at the very end zombies would come up from all around so pretty much what we're gonna do is kind of remember how to play and yeah, I haven't played this game in a long time. Uh, they haven't really updated the game either, so I'm actually kind of surprised by that. Um, I'm not sure if they're making a new game, which I think it was hinted at. I'm not fully sure, but it has been a while since I played this game, so I'm trying to remember my roots. So making a video on it would be pretty good. So we actually had a really, we have a really good start here, I think, because. We have a nice walled off area where there's only about three points of entry here, here, and here. Here, we can easily defend. We can easily defend here, and now right here might be a little difficult because the iron is in the way, but we can easily put a wall right here, which makes everything pretty easy. Now, if you don't know what this is, so there's something on my map on the bottom left. That's a boss zombie, so, you know. I think a lot of people may have not played this game before, so I may have to explain certain things about the game, but I don't feel like I'm going to have to go that in depth. I think you guys can just figure it out as we go. Oh, okay. Well, these are pretty bad. I might as well go with the plus 30 food supply because I, I swear these mayors make or break your gameplay and like I that was pretty bad. So we got tons of food. I'm still trying to like i just remember the how i used to be like so crazy in this game how i would get like like instantly like 200 people almost off the bat i would get like i would already have troops on day two i i i'm still trying to like even get a decent population but i'm still trying to clear this out because i want the iron i know iron early game can be difficult so seeing this giant rich vein is pretty pretty good we do have stone right next to us, so we can definitely utilize that. I don't know if it's going to work right there, but we can definitely put something right around here. Hopefully it doesn't get in the way of the homes, though. I know the homes are a little tricky. I need to push out to here to put more homes because it's going to get very cluttered really quickly. And I definitely do not want that. So I think what I'm going to do is just hold here, get a stone. I think I might be fine. Wait, can I get it? Oh, I can get it. Okay, so I can get a fork. Oh, I can't put it right there. Can I? Oh, oh, I can put one right there. So we can get eight if we place it right. Can we? Okay, so it seems like that's the best we're going to do. Can I place another? Oh, I can't. Oh, well, we at least got one. Oh, oh, yeah, this guy is up. Look at him. He's gold now. Well, he basically two taps everything. So there's not really much I can do here. I'm still sitting around waiting for things to finish. Uh, ooh. Oh, it's only day five, so I need to get soldiers. Well, all right, so we have a massive problem. That right there. Yes, that right there. So I was wrong about it being over here. We can't really expand this way due to the big boy right there, um, affected mutant. So we kind of have to push this way, I think. This is might be the safer bet to push out this way. I'm not fully sure because... It's been a while, and I know for a fact it can be kind of troublesome. As long as we get this right here, I feel like we can hold them off till they run out of zombies coming from the buildings, I think. Now, of course, we can always get pounded into the next, you know, existence, which we, we have some days to work with. Okay, it's, they're coming from the south. We don't have to really worry about this up here because we kind of just knocked a good bit of it out of the way. So we should be fine. So there's a massive wall here. So I'm kind of curious on where they're going to come from. We're going to find out kind of the hard way. So it seems like they're having trouble. Yeah, it seems like they're having trouble. So they're coming over this way. 
which means the way around is over this way. Seems like they're still going. So it ends right about here, then, is what I'm thinking. Maybe? Uh. Oh, okay, maybe it doesn't. I think they're all coming up there. Yep, they're going straight up. Okay, they're coming out right up here. That's interesting. So there is something over there that might be blocking them from going over here, which is actually pretty good because then we might not have to worry about walls if they're just going to go straight up from there to up here. So that might work. Okay, well, yeah, it's going to work. Which means let's push down this way. Okay, eh, it's not really as big as I'm used to. Huh. I guess it's okay well i mean all right well that works for me fine by me i mean it's an easy way to defend against so i'm not really going to be that sad so we're gonna try to kind of in a sticky situation with their villagers but i think we might be able to fix it we do need to push up here what i'm going to try to do is use all the people and then kind of make like a big giant sniping area so then we don't really have to worry about it. So I think I want about two snipe, two full towers of snipers. And then some troops on the ground. I think this would be a good area. And we're going to use the, the archers as a distraction. Once we kind of check out what's going on down here and kind of properly move our troops around. Might be fine if I move him up here. So we got a group here. And we're going to get a group here. I think we just need to divert some. They they need to stay there, I think. So we're going to have enough up there. And then we're going to try to get our troops down here, up there. And hopefully that's enough to kill them. If not, we're going to be in serious trouble. Uh. Tell me. All right. So we kind of just baited the big guy out, uh, the boss or mutant, whatever you want to call him. We kind of baited him out. Uh, sadly, my recording was not recording my voice, but it was recording the game, so I don't know what's going on there. So pretty much what we do are doing now is we're going to kind of clear out this area and then start securing certain points like here, there, and then up here. I think we... Yeah, right here might be fine. And what we're going to do is try to really push aggressively for um, homes because that is something that is very important to us. So what we're going to do is kind of start claiming this area... Oh, I really hope there's no... Ah, I mean, if anything bad happens, we got this, I think. Definitely want to start getting these guys back. So then we can secure our homes. And what I kind of want to do is start getting these guys up. You should be fine. What we can do is get these guys a patrol, or at least push upwards up there. Oh, <laughs> what happened? Okay, well, that's not going to plan. So we have enemies coming from the east, and it's right up there. Oh no. Uh oh. Wait, which way are they going though? That's the problem. Uh, it really depends on where they go, is really depending on how bad it is. If it's right here, it might be fine. Well, maybe not be fine, but like... Okay, so it seems like they're going down here, so we are definitely fine, I think. What we could do is try to engage them early. Dwindle their numbers. Tell me. Yeah, so they're going straight down here into this area. So we should be fine. Uh, I'm going to see if I can dwindle their numbers with kind of the troops we have. This area is going to be a little exposed, but we might be fine. I'm making additional troops just in case. Okay, we're fine. Just in case something happens. Wait, where are they going? Wait, are they going down here? Wait, where? Oh, there they are. We should be fine uh, if we do a no the normal grouping technique I think I remember doing, then we should be able to just kind of pick them off like this. Yeah. So I think the go-to way was the sniper route, because then they can have a farther distance. <clears throat> and then they do shoot pretty quickly and they do like guarantee one tap, so it's not that bad. Now this is kind of worrisome, we're kind of just like kind of shooting and going at the same time. Okay, and then kind of like shoot, one person runs, shoot, one person runs, like right here. And then retreat all the way back so it's not that bad. Or we can just bait them. Which I think yeah, I might just do right now, just bait them. Uh, maybe not, because this will take forever. But 
we pretty much got it all cleared out. Yeah, we pretty much do. Yes. Okay. Maybe not. There we go. Uh, wait. Let's do this. Okay, we should be fine now. Yeah, we are. We're definitely fine. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is kind of start pushing to the right and see what's over there. Ooh, might be a little risky, but that's fine. I don't care. And what I'm doing right now is upgrading. I'm trying to see if I can get a good stone house. Okay, I don't know what's going on over there, but something's happening. So what I'm going to do is place a wasp because they're pretty cool. And uh, I'll put it here. Uh, put it there and there, and then I'm gonna get some towers up once I'm able to fully protect this area up here, or at least light it off. And then we should be all set once we have everything fine. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, we're good. Just double checking. Man, that was quick. So we have about like one day left before another horde comes by, but look at all we got already. Oh, that was a lot of pushing, but we did it. We got this main area up here claimed so we can get all the homes we want. So I'm going to kind of maybe try to finish up this group of homes before I place any more, uh, which is going to be a lot. Uh, but the next mayor is about 1,200, so we're, we're, we're fine. I think we're cooking. Uh, I'm just going to get these guys around so they can kind of just take care of all the zombies around the map. So we don't really have an issue. I'm not sure what I'm going to do down here. I might just push out right here and utilize some stuff there and then reinforce my borders pretty much. Ooh, they won. Okay. And I might just focus on defenses for a while because resources wise, we're okay. It's not the best, but you know, we're holding it at least. <laughs> And, oh, we got the foundry, yes. And then I want to start, so of course we're going to need oil first, but we can maybe just use an advanced mill. That is, oh, okay, that's interesting. So they're going to come down from the south, so they're definitely going to attack here. Let me get all these guys to pull back, and then we can cut back in. Oh, well, good thing I caught that one. It seems like this is an area where they're going to just run in. Okay, uh, definitely going to get my soldiers down there first. Uh, this seems like an area that is definitely going to have to be protected, apparently. Uh, so we're going to, that's going to be annoying, but this is an easy fix. Just slap tons of walls down. So they're going to be coming, where are they? They're going to come right here. That's what I'm thinking. Good thing we have a stone wall, though, so we should be fine. Going to upgrade all the stone walls. Oh, okay, we're good. And then the soldiers should be coming right here. Yeah. Now, I don't know how big this one's going to be. I feel like it's going to be pretty decently sized. Uh, something that I'm finally used to. Oh, yeah. I'm used to this. Yeah, we're, we should be fine, I think. Oh, yeah. Not really going to be worried about that. So, I kind of just slapped all the farms in this area. Uh, do we... uh... Yeah, I'll get that anyway. Gonna get the oil productions. Should be fine. I think I can just upgrade them. I can. Uh, I can only upgrade a few. Okay, I think it's because of money. Yep, money. I need to increase my money production by kind of just upgrading the homes, but we also need money for that. So I think what I'm gonna do is slowly grind up the money, and then that was an easy round. But what we're also gonna do is kind of extract some money from up here so we can actually use it. I normally keep this as like a little storage area. Because, you know, you don't, you aren't going to use all the resources at once. Get rid of that. So we may as well just save it for later, except for now. I'm going to use it now. So we can actually upgrade our homes. We should be, eh, I'll take about 2,000 more. And then we should be able to upgrade all our homes, I think. Uh, what are we, M money, okay. Or not money, but energy. Which is going to, oh, we're almost done with that one. And we just need more money. So it seems like money is a common problem here. But we are going to use... Oh, what the... Okay. And there should be one more generator. I don't know where it is. But it should be around here somewhere. I'll find it eventually. Okay, so we're going to get attacked on the east. Where east, though? That's the real question here. Uh, I'm kind of worried of where they're going to attack, but there's not really much I can do in that regards of where they attack. So we're kind of just going to have to, you know, hold out. 
wherever we can, I think. Yeah. So here's my defense strategy. We're going to just make a kind of defensive wall about here and then kind of hope for the best. Please tell me it's not right here, though. That would be kind of disheartening. Oh, please, no. Please, please. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Um, Are they going up or down? What? Are they going down here? Wait, where are they going? Okay. So they're going literally right here. Okay. That's oof. Okay, well, let's get them going. I uh, don't have any towers set. Um, normally, I would be better at this, I think. I think? Yeah, so they're hitting right here. Oh, no, they're hitting right there. Oh, no. Oh, they're split. Oh. Oh, boy. Okay. That's interesting. Um, hmm. Didn't expect them to split like that. That's kind of worrisome. I can't wait for an actual horde. Like, I'm so out of touch in this game. Like, I'm, like, kind of, like, worried about, like, what's... Like, everything that's gonna happen. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's not that bad. Seems like our walls are a little weak, though. Huh. Alright, so that was... Fun. Not really. Uh... <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is start clearing out more of the area, so we should be all fine on this side. I'm still trying to progress down here, so it seems like there we can cut this off and then cut this off and we can have, like, layered defense. It's kind of my goal here. I think what I also want to do is get more troops, honestly, in, like, two sections. So this is something I just remembered. I would normally do a section type of survival where it's, like... Oh, make a giant army up here, and they only stick to the top. Make a giant army down here, they only stick to the bottom, and then so on. It's kind of what I remember doing. I might follow that same strategy, I'm not sure, but I'm just going to make another place. Where did I put it? Oh, I put it down there. I'm just going to make another place, or defensive, well not defensive, just barracks in general, so we can uh, feel a little bit more secure, especially if there's another horde. I can actually allocate my men to the right places. Um, uh, money is not an issue, apparently. Uh, especially... Oh. Can I actually make that? <gasps> oh, so every troop I make is gonna be a veteran soldier. That is gonna be a win. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be great. Okay, so we, uh, we found another ta city! Yippee! I didn't expect them to find another city. I was like, oh, what are they doing? And I just see all red. I'm like, what's going on? I look over, and we found another city. Great. At least it's over here on the side, not really close by anyone. So that's kind of good. So we're going to have to kind of... Oh. So I did make a Wonders of the World where now all units are veterans, which is amazing, especially for snipers. So that is amazing, I think. Yes. And then I do want to get the eye or the seer or whatever. It's where you can see the entire map. I feel like that one would be very beneficial for us. We just need to get it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of clear this out. And hopefully when we snap back in before the... Oh, we won't. Oh, I definitely won't. Actually, no, wait, we might. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, It's like right here. Um, Silent Beholder. And then we might be able to make it... I don't think we're going to be able to make it before... Well, actually, we might be able to. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. They're coming over here. Okay. I was kind of worried this entire time, being like, oh, where they're going to come from. So they're coming up over here, which is fine, because we're going to have a lot of defenses. This is already pretty stacked. I'm not going to lie. I'm only going to be worried if they dip over to the right. Which, if they do, I might be screwed... But I think we might be fine. Allegedly. I don't know. It really depends on how they kind of dictate their movement patterns. It seems like they should just be going straight. They're going to ignore this as long as I don't put that much pressure over there. I am happy with this, though. That is really helping us out. Now, I'm worried about this. Commander, See how this goes. Death, lovely death. Okay, so they should. we should see them soon. Yep. Oh, that's a lot of them. Oh, that's a lot of them. That's a lot. Oh, no. And they're still going. Oh, no. 
Oh, that is a big change from what I've used. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, good thing we have like three layers of walls. Or four at. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, eh, we got five layers. Okay, that's pretty good. That is not good, though. It, it is pretty scary to look at all that. Oh, my. That is not. Well. Eh, we might got this. So, I think what... Oh, they're... Okay, the first layer of wall is down, which is fine. Okay, we might be fine. Yeah, we're good. We just gotta believe in ourselves and our defenses that we... Is about to get destroyed. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's one thing I forgot. It was gonna be, um... Ooh. Oh, yeah. Wait. I forgot. We can learn the... These guys. Those guys, yeah. But I think what I'm gonna do is actually, what do we need? We need 700 gold, I mean 7,000 gold. And then we can see the entire map, which would be kind of interesting and pretty cool. So we can actually get a better view on how many enemies and how we can kind of plan. So I might just do that. Okay, so it took out a good amount of our walls, but we still won. So I'm gonna get that going first so I don't forget. Oh wait, I can't do anything. Oh well. And then I'm gonna see about creating more defensive points. I might add one right here and maybe add like a thin wall right here, but we should be all set, I think, because it's like we kind of got the best area possible for defense, I think, so we might be all right. All right, so here they come. Oh boy, that is a lot. Uh, <laughs> oh man, this does not make my life feel any better. So, oh boy. Okay. I should have maybe added a delay on this. Yeah, let me add a three second delay since I know the delay. Okay, and then it should be... There we go. Thankfully, we have these guys. And these guys can honestly just clean up. So, that honestly makes me feel a lot better. I am going to try to start utilizing some more... Uh, technologies, I should say, to help with the fences. Wow, they, we just mowed them down. Okay. I'm trying to find more areas with oil, but I'm actually worried about running, like, running out of oil. And I'm kind of pushing around trying to see what I can grab. So this is kind of going to be kind of like a, um, you know, temporary thing. It's definitely not going to last the entire horde. So I'm not even going to bother kind of like defending it because it's definitely going to get destroyed. So I'm not even going to try. This is going to be... Oh no, this is actually... Looking at it now, this is going to be a really crucial point. But then we do have layered walls, so I'm going to also kind of like, you know, defend the best I can. <laughs> and I said the best I can. And we're going to kind of just reinforce everything. Okay, that won't work. Maybe that would work somewhat. Yeah, somewhat. And then we're going to kind of do that. Eh, 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 it should hold a little bit. All right, so we got another horde coming in west. Not really done much, uh, somewhat actually. Wait a minute, I can't say that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the lightning spire actually. What is this one? Oh, it increases oil. I'm good. I'm good. I really am. Thank you though. I like the I like the fan toots though. All right, so anyway, I don't know which way west. Is this west? It is. Oh, oh yes, we predicted correctly. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Now, which way are they gonna like come in from? Cause there's like a little problem here. Um, maybe everywhere. Honestly, this might be the best area to defend. It seems like it's gonna be kind of split. Oh, it's definitely gonna be split. All right, so... Oh, wait, we have a archer that's still alive. I'm surprised. So, anyway... Wait, are they not? Oh, are they... Oh. Oh. Uh, okay, I don't think they're going that way, then. I think they're just gonna go this way. Interesting. Okay. I didn't expect them to only head this way, but I feel like they will start heading this way once they start, you know, filling up over there. Yeah, they are. See? Yep. And this is going to be pretty easy. I'm not really worried. We got these 
uh, Titans. That's what they're called. <laughs> I need a moment to think about it sometimes. All right, so that's going to be done. They're shredding. Oh, my God. I honestly want to just let everything fall, and then, if need be, we just fall back to here. Because it's, like, it's so easy to defend back here. Oh, look at that. And we're already done. Oh, what a what beautiful Titans they are. Wait, what? Is someone hurt? Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, that's just their health bar. Okay. Well, so far, we're doing really good. I don't really... Uh, building, like, building houses, I pretty much have to keep it here. Because this is kind of, like, the only open space. I don't want to do anything over here. I'm also running a risk on, like, hoping they don't go this way is kind of my plan because it seems like all the enemies go down over this way instead of over here. And I am hoping to God they do not come that way. Like, if they do, I am... Whew, <laughs> we are not going to have a good time. All right, I just want to flex that I actually have the tower now, which I'm pretty happy with. Ooh. So, uh, my, uh, so far we're doing pretty good overall. Oil is amazing. Oh yeah, we definitely can make a lot more of these guys. Or just any guys. So oil needed one. Okay, so if we make a few more of these guys, about five more. And then we're going to save them for the Titans. I think we might be good here. Because all I have to do is reinforce them in the key areas where they're going to go. So about one or two down here. And then... We should be fine. This is definitely going to get attacked. I definitely want to upgrade it, but I just don't know how. I am really worried about that place, but oh well. If whatever happens, happens. So this place, I'm actually kind of confident that nothing bad is going to happen. I'm going to say that now and then regret that later. But so far, we're doing pretty good overall. Energy, we don't have to worry about. Food, we do have to worry about, but that's going to be fixed soon. People are going to be fixed again. So I'm trying to think of how I want to divert the people. I definitely don't care about that. I'm trying to think of how I want to divert everyone. So definitely the main areas are going to need defenses like this guy right here. I might just slap one turret here. One turret's already there. Definitely going to slap like one or two over here. And then definitely maybe... I might put one right here because I feel like this whole area is going to fall. No, this area is definitely going to fall. I just need to figure out how I'm going to defend that because this is going to be troublesome i know that for a fact i think what i'm gonna have to do is cut that off completely and then hope for the best all right here comes the next horde it seems like they're coming right over here again which is fine we can divert these uh thanatos over here get you guys over here and it seems like this should be an easy defense i think yeah it definitely will be this place definitely needs a lot more defenses because it's just a small point. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Do not. Don't you do it. <laughs> I knew they were going to do it. Okay, so what we got here is about three of them. We are definitely fine, I think. Oh yeah, we're definitely fine. We just got to get these guys spread out so they don't all target the same group. And they can actually be kind of diverse in their shooting so we can kill more at a time. I might add another tower here, but I think we're fine. That is still a shit ton. All right. And so far, so good. Let's find out. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Not bad. I think... Oh. Doing really good. Okay. How's the walls? Okay, first layer... We're doing really good, actually. So let's actually get them to attack on the side. Oh, yeah, we're fine now. Oh, look at all that. They, I forgot they take them out in clusters because of how, how they work. So this is really good. Honestly, I am very happy with this defense. Oh, yeah, we're, we're definitely fine. <laughs> okay, so I don't have anything to really worry about there, so... That one should definitely be fine. We do have a fallback point. I'm going to have about, what was it? I think it was three or four. So we have about, so we're going to keep four here. And I think what I want, so there's two turrets over there. I think what we're going to do is move one of these guys over there. How many is over here? Two. Move this guy over here. And then we should be all set on defenses over here for when the last wave comes around. Oh, and here they come. 
So it seems like a small wave is going to be right coming in here. So it's kind of a hit or miss on if there's a wave up there. The wave over here is going to be scary. I'm not going to lie to you. This one's going to be very difficult. This one's... It's going to be a hit or miss as well. Now, the turrets are fine. Two turrets here. We're fine. I hope. <laughs> so I think we might have this in the bag as long as everything goes according to plan. Aw, oh, yeah, we just finished building the Crystal Palace. I'm actually getting so many of these done already. I'm actually surprised. So I was going to just build tons of houses at this point so we can increase our population and money. Because what I'm going to try to do is kind of get ahead of the game and start placing more towers just in case things do not go out as planned. Which, in a game like this, that happens all the time. <laughs> so... Let me just slap some houses here and there, and we should be all set now. Is that a, oh, I thought that was a zombie. I was like, what is he doing? Oh, this place. I have to remember that this place is going to die. Uh, hmm. You know what? What I'm going to do is something cool. Basically, what it is, is we're going to put bombs around. <laughs> so once they get here, it's going to explode. It's pretty much my plan. I don't know. I, I've done that before, and it worked. I might just do a thin line of walls, actually, which worked before. I don't think I'm going to do it again, but what we're going to do is still kind of fortify this area. I thought about pushing right here, but it I also don't feel like it, you know? It is pretty... I don't know. I, I kind of want to do more, but then I kind of don't. What can we do to fix that? We would have... Ooh. I'm gonna do one more Titan. Move him. Actually, no, we have two towers. We should be fine. And if anything happens, we can always move these guys down there. But there is a lot that I still want to do, like, protection-wise. Like that, which now we have no money at all. So that is going to be fantastic. Alright, here's the final wave. It is now starting to show up. So what I'm gonna do right now... Get these ready, because if I remember right, there are... Where are they? Yep, I was right. There are some of those people. So, we should get ready to... Uh-oh. They shouldn't maybe not diverge, but they still always could. Okay, these guys are definitely gonna die. Ha! <laughs> Great. Okay. We should be all set. Okay. I think we're gonna do alright. Uh, that's gonna converge. That's to be expected. Okay, that's good. Okay, I did predict right. I was unsure about that one up there. So what I'm gonna do here... Actually, no. I'm gonna put these two right there. And then there's gonna be a group of enemies down here, but don't worry. I'm gonna move some of my men down over there. These guys should be alright. This is gonna be a thin layer, because, um, they should be split up. So, these guys should be able to handle it, hopefully. That should be fine. I'm pretty... I feel like I'm pretty fine all around right now. Same with up here. And then we all... Everything should come together perfectly. This is what I was most afraid of, but since it's not happening, I'm going to move them down here. Yeah, because this is... They're not even getting there. Uh-oh. We should maybe make these guys focus on the highest level. <gasps> oh no! Oh uh oh! That's not good. That's not good at all. Excuse me. Uh, okay. Um, we got this. Okay, so I diverted these guys in the wrong place. Wait, what? There wasn't a wave down here. Okay. Well, might as well just keep them back over there. But so far, everything's pretty fine. Almost done. Doing really good, though. So let's see how we're doing up here. Really good. Good. Almost done. That is fallen. That has fallen. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, thanks for that one, game. All right. We're going to get these guys up over here. Get a thin line or something. Because that is not good at all. Yeah, uh, that actually terrifies me. Because if this village goes down, that is that is a problem. That is a very big 
problem, which we can not really worry about anymore because these guys are open up. You can open up, so these guys are about to just really just shred them. This is really good. I didn't expect it to go as planned, but we should be fine. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's, that's fun. Well, at least they survived. Okay, and then pretty much we just clean it up from here. Right? Yep. Alright, seems like our defense is held surprisingly right there. Uh, didn't really hold as planned, but oh well. I really thought this was going to get attacked, but instead they just went on up. So, we did it. We survived our kind of first game back from their billions. It was a kind of a decent population. Definitely going to turn it up, though. Uh, soldiers di that died, four. Not bad. Colonists infected, 70. Could have been prevented. Not really. Didn't care. And then max population, 2,400. Not bad. Not bad. A score factor was 70, so I think what I'm used to is 100. So this was kind of like a warm-up round before the actual thing. So thank you, everyone, for watching, and see you guys next time.